Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very exciting video. Today, we are excited to announce the Freedom 500, as we are calling it, is happening. And it is happening April 3rd, 2020, so less than a month. It is 23 Crown Vicks racing 100 laps, available only on pay-per-view. And I got the link in the description below. We did all of the pricing and basically the rules and even the name of the event based off of the video that I released about a month ago talking about this, but it took up until now to make sure we could get the cars, get roll cages, get everything set up, get the pay-per-view to be an actual thing. And now the Freedom 500 is freaking on. So it's 9.95 to watch 23 cars and a 100 lap race, all with nitrous equipped Crown Vicks, raced by us and your other favorite YouTubers that you've seen on this channel before, because one thing I was trying to trying to change about this style of racing is you know when you watch a big NASCAR race and you don't really know the guy who won and you're like oh well all right whatever I want to make sure that when you guys watch this race you know the person that wins you've seen them on the channel before you you know what they're about how they drive and I vetted every person in this driver's field we've probably go-karted with literally every single one yeah. but maybe one or two but we know that everybody in this group can drive. So if you guys want to get the pay-per-view, hit the link in the description below. Buy it now. It's $9.95. If you wait till the day of, it goes up to $14.95. But still, it's pretty cheap. And, you know, find some buddies to, to watch it with if that makes it, you know, easier for you. And also, I want to say that the Freedom 500 will be available to everybody no matter what online a couple weeks down the road after the event. But watching it live we have a really insane broadcast coming like we've been working on this behind the scenes a ton we have we'll have an announcers booth we'll have multiple announcers we're gonna have live cameras in some of the cars i mean it's gonna be insane you're gonna be able to hear us talking on the mics real timing system with live uh Full standings. yeah live standings on there so you'll be able to see who's in first you know probably your boy okay you got cletus james cooper Kyle from Boosted Boys, Emilio from Boosted Boys, Brent and Jamie from PFI Speed. We got Adam LZ. We got Blake Wilkie, the Shreddy Life. He's a desert racer. You guys saw him when we were in Glamis. We got Jeremy and George from Faster Proms. We got Leo, Nick, and Doug from SideBySideBlog.com. We got Justin, aka Stain Killer from Streetcar Takeover. We got Mike Vargas and John Vargas, the Vargas brothers who helped us build the mystery machine. We got Justin, JH Diesel. We got Bad Chad. We got Victor, the owner of Rainton Motorsports Park. You guys saw him in Australia. We got Taylor Ray, our drift buddy. And then we got Matt from Demolition Ranch. And lastly, we have Ronnie Mack, which you guys haven't seen him on the channel yet, but he'll be in a video coming this week because he was at our house last week. If you don't know who Ronnie Mack is, he's a professional goon rider, motocross guy. He's hilarious. But it's basically the best field of drivers you can ever imagine. And we're all going to be in essentially disposable crown vicks that just have a roll cage and a nitrous system on them and we have to each make it 100 laps i mean there's some wild cards in there for sure <laughs> yeah maybe a few duds at that too <laughs> <laughs> a couple ducks. i mean <laughs> here's the deal i know for a fact <laughs> florida's taking home the win we have a huge advantage over these guys these colorado boys there's i don't want more florida they might, yeah, they might make it 20, 30 laps at full Andy rip. Might get to them. They ain't going to hang with these Florida boys. The drifters Wilkie. will be like two laps back just sideways. Yeah, the drifter. On the bank. Adam and Adam, I mean, he's helping represent Florida, so I can't talk too much crap. Taylor but Ray. Taylor, Taylor Ray. Dude. No that guy's a machine. Florida, a yeah. Taylor Ray will be a threat for sure. He's a good driver. Uh, no, Michigan I, won't take it home. Michigan, the booth, the side by side blog, those guys are the least of our worries. Matt from Demolition Ranch is definitely He's a good gonna driver. He's going to get mad at the car halfway around 50 laps in and start shooting it in the infield. Yeah, yeah, Matt, you're <laughs> no, not man, allowed right. to have any weapons in your car, <laughs> Matt, all right? Next thing you know, there's a Tannerite explosion <laughs> in the yeah. infield. <laughs> yeah, so we have a, a hell of a field here, guys. And I asked you guys all about the pricing in the last video. Everyone said, uh, it should be even more money that everyone was saying do 20 bucks. We thought for this first one Let's do 995 because to be 100% honest with you Before you buy this pay-per-view. I want you to know that literally anything can happen. I 
I know the live feed won't go down because we're going to a, an extreme extent to make it a legit broadcast. But there's a good chance we make it five laps and total every Crown Vic and end up fist fighting in the infield. And I just want you guys to be aware of that factor. You know what I mean? Dude, them, them big fights get, uh, yeah, that's get true. bringing a lot of money. Up we'll have some backup cars <laughs> so we can have some action go on yeah. if everything's just total. Yeah, and we'll have a couple backup cars. So there's 23 drivers, and I'm not going to get into the nitrous details yet because you guys are going to love how we're doing that. But there's there's going to be about 26 cars total, so we'll be able to get, uh, you know, say you get your car at random and it dies second lap, you can go get another car. But the way this all works is there's going to be all 23 cars lined up day of uh we're gonna do a bingo ball draw bingo ball draw I don't know what. Right. It just sounded funny. <laughs> and that'll be a part of the pre-show broadcast and whatever number you get on that ball you go to that car you have one hour to prepare your car no performance modifications allowed and all these cars are supplied to these drivers they just show up day of and you know you got to get your best tire on the car put it on the front right of the vehicle because there's a lot of left turn in. And then the other thing is going to be balancing your brakes and your transmission. Because all these cars have 150,000 miles on them. We've been buying them from the state auction. They're well maintained. But if you shift that thing up and down twice a lap. It's endurance. I mean, you gotta. Yeah, you gotta drive it right. My backup car should be ready, my man. Yeah. <laughs> James <laughs> Franks is. We're really going to have to keep an eye on James about modifying his Crown Vic the hour that he'll have it before the race. But. Any modifications, uh, you know, you're probably just, if we catch it, you're out of the race. But uh, rules on track, the only rule I've thought of is no passing in the infield. And I mean, really, if you do drive like and, and pass on the infield and you're just being overly aggressive, I think the race control just puts them to the back of the pack. Yeah. That's, that's you know, if you Lap down or something. Lap down, yep. But. There's really no rules. So say Adam LZ is a lap ahead of everybody because his car is just like amazingly fast for some reason. Like we're just gonna spin him out once he catches the pack. You know what I mean? Like this race is going to be ruthless. There's barely any rules. There's a ton of drivers and we're all really good friends. So it should turn out to be an epic, hilarious battle. There's no rules, so you know what that means. Next year, there's going to have to be a lot of rules. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Everyone's going to exploit that fact. Yeah. But other than that, we don't have uh, much else to say about it. Just check out the pay-per-view. Buy it now. Save yourself some money the day of. And uh, if there are any website issues, if it delays you or anything, which it shouldn't, you know, just come back tomorrow. But it's going to be epic. I can't wait. It's going to be a pretty fun race. Yeah, and... Uh, I know people ask too, this is pay-per-view only. This is not a public race, so you cannot come to the Freedom Factory the night of April 3rd. There will be security. The reason for that, guys, we do not have safe bleachers. There's a ton of stuff in the track right now that the public could hurt themselves on. Themselves on. And I know a lot of people will just come in and want to watch a race, but there's also people who could come in just to try and get a lawsuit against us, you know? And so we can't open the track just yet, but this is this race will hopefully help us open the track sooner we don't so. have staffing prepared for all yeah and that. our water systems are down yeah. you know we don't have concessions there's no way we can open this to the public we can't allow anybody else in and then as far as the drivers list goes uh we can't add anyone at this point this is the final drivers list and and there's a couple guys i have messages out to that i'm waiting on to hear back if they can do it one of those being Von Gittin. Uh, so we may add or lose one or two people along the way, but anyone who's seeing this now, there's no possible way to get in after the fact. So this is a Freedom 500, and brothers, it's going to be rowdy. So that is your daily announcement. Hit the link below. Get yourself a ticket to the Freedom 500 and watch it live with your buddies. It's going to be epic. It's some freaking, get some... I don't know, buffalo chicken dip and enjoy it. It's going to be rowdy. So Get you some buffalo chicken dip and a case of bush white and yeah. enjoy the show. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be crazy. But also that one hour, guys, everyone gets to paint their cars too to their own paint scheme. So I think we should all run the same team scheme, maybe. Yep. I think we should come up with something and just run so that, so that everyone knows it's us and then the Boosted Boys should run like their paint scheme. Like we're true teams. But I don't know. It's going to be epic. So... 
that's it guys I'm excited hope you guys are excited if you have any other ideas we can totally implement them in between now and April 3rd so drop them in the comments below but that's it for now Freedom 500 coming soon thanks guys we'll freaking see you later do it for death.